hi my name is Nikke Fulagwade and in this video I want to share with you three mind shifts you need when you have a marriage crisis or a challenge you know when something just happens all of a sudden that puts you in a place where you just feel out of control and you get so worried so paranoid so fearful you know that kind of situation right yeah so what can you do about this the first thing you need to understand is that every marriage has its own issues like we all have our challenges the things that are happening the things with which we could change the things we really wish we could just control right now like so don't ever think that you're alone don't think that other people have it all figured out but you are struggling no you know everybody they're all going through different seasons in our marriage so this mindset just puts you in a place where you're willing to you know learn from everything that happens remember marriage is an institution on its own so here are three mind shifts that you need when you have a marriage challenge the first thing is I need you to move from a place of worry and fear to a place of faith and what that means is worrying just helps you to focus on the things that are wrong the things that might happen what if what if you know you're so focused on the situation and it makes you just feel so paralyzed and unable to move beyond that place and when you're worried when these things happen you find yourself emotionally unstable you're not even able to do anything worthwhile you're just so disturbed and it doesn't even produce anything but when you shift your mind to faith you're first saying to yourself I believe a change can happen I believe something different can happen I believe that God can give me a strategy a solution or he can lead me to a resource that can help me at that time so what then happen is because you're focused on belief which is it is possible the next question you're asking yourself is how how would these things be how can I do it and the moment you're asking that right question you're going to start having balls of ideas like you're going to start to have you know insights and wisdom on what you should do about it and that leads me to the second point which is move from seeing your spouse as the enemy to on to really looking at the underlying issues that can be the problem itself and when i say the you know the other issues i'm referring to things like belief system you know values misalignment i'm looking at foundational issues i'm looking at ideologies so let's assume that you and your husband or you and your wife you know you've been arguing over a particular course of action now one person may might be giving a suggestion based on their own experience or that they know everything they have understood about life but maybe you know better you really want something different but because you have to be submissive or because you have to be patient you know submissive as a wife or patient as a husband you might find yourself clashing at that time now understand that your spouse at that point is not the enemy if you shift from that mindset you will start to say okay so why is this person saying this things or why does this person think that that's the best um, course of action to follow and that is where you start to pinpoint the belief systems the values the ideologies the influence who knows maybe it's even a friend that is trying to you know suggest that course of action to your spouse so when you find out what the the real issue is at that point you then need a strategy to you know navigate the whole issue and that leads me to the third question uh, the third uh, mind shift rather and that is you moving from idolizing your partner your spouse to really seeking God for true intimacy and help and support you know I, I think that a lot of Christians a lot of believers we really struggle to do anything in our lives because we we do not understand that we have a helper we have the Holy Spirit we try to use common sense for everything we try to just post things on social media and ask people for help I mean people that don't even know what is happening to you people that don't even know the source of your issue you just like to leave things out of control when you have the Holy Spirit who is your helper who is your advocate who is your comforter who can strengthen you who can give you wisdom at that point so what you should be doing is choosing to believe that the holy spirit is there with you and that it can help you so you're saying 
this is what is currently going on what do i do about it i know that you are supreme and you have you have sovereign rights over everything i know that you have the power and you have the art of a king in your hands i just need you to give me the strategy i just need you to give me the wisdom i just need grace and and you know uh, the strength to hold on at this point because sometimes it could take about a week for things to finally become clear you see so in that process you're seeking god for true intimacy you're seeking god for true help you're not being selfish you're not trying to be right you're not trying to be in control you're not trying to win you're simply asking for help i feel like if every christian can or if having anybody can just understand that god is interested in every area of our lives and he's not he's not leaving you to just handle everything by yourself we will have more opportunities to make a lot of things work in our lives and you know why god is the best person that can help you because he knows what the person is thinking he knows the art of your you know spouse he knows exactly their posture he knows what he, you can do that would change your old thing so god can tell you read this book speak to this person why not invest in this online because it has all the solutions you want why not do this why not do that why not just wait do you see it now? You see, these solutions is what would then help you to begin to make better decisions in your life. Remember, when you have a crisis or a challenge in your marriage, you need three mind shifts, three quick mind shifts. Move from fear and worry to faith. Move from seeing your spouse as the enemy to seeing that there's a root cause to the issue. And thirdly, lastly rather see it also that you want to seek god for intimacy and support so you're not idolizing your partner because when you start to idolize your partner you will never find the clarity that you want you'll be so immersed in them and all the negative things that you start to realize and realize the pain all over again i hope that this helps you i have a free ebook that you can read right now if you're currently in a marriage with a difficult partner or you're just looking for how you can make things better in your marriage you find the link right now to read the book and i've got a platform also that can help you to make your marriage better and i want you to be a part of it so join me in the warrior brights network if you are a woman and let me show you the wisdom the strategy and the power to making your marriage work in this time that we are in uh thank you so much for watching if you have comments feedback please share it with me i look forward to you know helping you to deal with your marriage and making it better you know i want you to have a kingdom marriage thank you so much for watching and bye-bye